Hey, it's the After Show. Thanks so much for supporting me. Oh, I really appreciate you, mate. Only with your incredible patronage could I have found the Zenny, crumbs of which are still all over the place. <laughs> and I know a bunch of you watch the After Show first. Well, the Zenny's not going to make any sense, mate. You know, if anything, it's even better. But as a kid, I've always had this fascination with Polaroids. Just, you know, where you just shoot a photo out and off you go. Because I remember, you know, having family outings. We take, like, disposable cameras. You've got to wait for the photo to come back. And then you realize it sucks. Dad left the cap on or something. <laughs> You know? And like, yeah, I had a Polaroid as a kid and I just loved it. it was and you hand it to people. The film is expensive, but it's just, I don't know, there was something valuable about it. You didn't want to waste a shot. It's actually something amazing about modern phones is that we do take photos of everything. And what that does is documents more of everyday life. Funny enough, in history, that's the thing we're missing out on the most. No one bothered to write down how they went to the toilet 400 years ago. But it's my Polaroid SX70. And I got this like remanufactured or fully reconditioned Brooklyn film camera. Um, I'm not gonna flip this over because it's got my details on it, serial numbers and all that sort of thing, you know, they put a warrant in these and stand by it. It's not cheap, but like, this is not easy to use. Like, let me tell you. And so I just wanted to know that I wasn't like fighting the machine. Like it, like it wouldn't give me good photos because it needed something. It's like, it's not giving me good photos because I suck and I don't know how to use it properly. I have been playing with like new modern ones, which are way cheaper and way easier to use. But um, you know, I wanted to have the daddy. I love when this sits on the table and friends go, what is that? And I'm like, good question. You just pull it, bam, it's a camera. How neat is this? So what this guy up here is, is the sonar autofocus. So if I hold down the button, watch it. <laughs> How sonar autofocus and you look down the viewfinder and you'll see it focus as well that guy's for the brightness and darkness and that is your enemy like you got to become friends with that thing to actually figure out like where it's supposed to be i'm still learning i believe it's got film in it but i'm going to take a quick snapshot of the rig here <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave that face down because with darkness they work better. How cool is that? I don't even know where the battery is in this thing. Load more film, you press that, that folds down. That's where the film goes in. It's super simple. And absolutely, Polaroid is still making it. Why would you lose on this cash cow, hey? If you're wondering what they're up to. Because like I said, it is really hard to get a good photo out of this thing because you gotta dial in all the the sensitive light stuff yourself. And honestly, it's what the big fun is. If someone owns one of these and they've handed you like a perfectly in focus, bright, colorful photo out of one of these, they're a genius and they've worked at that. So I'm telling you, the first, I don't know, 10 photos I spat out, black, nothing on them. <laughs> yeah, nothing. It wasn't that it looked like crap. I, it was, they were just blinks. And yeah, I wasn't using it properly. <laughs> what I love is you can still get flash modules for these. People make them new. I left mine at home, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing something so vintage still having 100% support. Like this has just been back from being refurbished. And I love how it goes back. Push on that and then She's done. They even sell like little 3D printed um, holders, which is super fun. Like to put all your masterpieces in. So let me dazzle you with some of the magnificent photos I've taken just kind of around the house in the backyard. This is what it spits out when you first put in the film, which is fine. Um, here's Frank in a fatty hammock. Black and white, obviously, just adds that texture commonly found in Frank's poo. That's a tree outside and you can see it. I mean, it was bright outside. It was like a crazy blue day. And um, that's, that's what you get. That's a bag. That, this no lie was the first photo I actually got to work. I was sick of lining up really nice Frank shots. I swear, whatever, bag, clack, and I got this. <laughs> so, oh, you always remember your first, oh, secret hidden character on the show, mate. The floats, yes, they are stinking up the house and hanging out. They will get a video at some point. I am going to talk more about vintage headphones coming up because they are super funny. Like, if you want the fun recordings against the HD 600s, vintage is where you go. Look, there's a color Frank of Frank hiding her head and I didn't get her in shot properly. Treasured memories. And then there's like a, a bigger shot of her enclosure. Frank's being a fatty over there. Wow, such winners. <laughs> <laughs> and just think, these are the ones I didn't throw out. At least a pack's worth have just been thrown out as just blanks. Speaking of which, this is the one I just took. It should be color. Let's have a smell. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that needs a minute. Time lapse. I literally waited about 20 minutes there. 
And uh, let, here you go. Whoa, there's another winner. Look, you can almost make out the one grit and the duck. Um, yeah, this is <laughs> this is usually what you get. So it's hard. It is hard work. As I said, if someone hands you a beautiful, I mean, guys, this bag photo is starting to look pretty dang good all of a sudden, huh? <laughs> Uh, but that's the fun of it, and man, Polaroid are just rolling in the money of people just throwing this stuff away because it ain't easy, mate. I'm not keeping this one. So that's my quick little toy share there, and you know, you, you know, just leave. <laughs>